Hello and welcome back to one more episode of Quantum Tutorials. In this episode, let us understand more about decision model notations. This is the second part in the decision model notations playlist. We will create an example decision model notation that takes two input parameters age and credit rating and gives a decision as either approved or rejected. Describing either to reject or approve the loan application based on the values provided for age and credit rating input parameters. In this part 2 of the decision model notation, we will explore how to use custom objects in a decision model notation. So without further ado, let's create the example and look at how we can use custom objects while creating DMNs. Let's click on create new decision model. We are creating the DMN exercise 2. Let's look at how we can define a custom data type. Go to data types and click on add a custom data type. Define the data type. I'm defining the data type as input object and the type of this custom data type input object, I am defining it as structure. Click on this tick mark and save the custom data type. And inside the input object custom data type, let us define the elements that we will have. I am defining age as one of the element inside the custom data type and the data type of this age element I am defining it as number. Define one more element inside the custom data type input object. and give the name of the element as credit rating. The data type of this credit rating element inside the input object custom data type, we are defining it as string. Click on this tick mark to save the changes. So now we have defined a custom data type input object and the two elements age and credit rating are present as part of this input object custom data type. Let us go back to the editor, click on editor and let us see how we can create a DMN which uses this custom data type. Drag and drop an input element onto the canvas. Set the properties of the element. I am giving the name of the input element as input. Let us access the more properties of this element by clicking on the properties option. And for the data type option of this input element, I am using the data type the one which we have created as a custom data type. So along with the default data types, the custom data types that we have created will be listed down here. So select the input object custom data type to be used as a data type for this input element. Let us create a decision by using this option create DMN decision. Now 
let's give the properties of this decision element let's edit the let's edit this decision element and we'll create the logic for this decision element click on select expression and we'll use the decision table for creating the logic for this decision element as you can see here because we are using input as the the input element the name which we have given for the input element is input and because it's a custom data type so from the input element we are picking up the age and from the input element we are picking up the credit rating as the two inputs and we are defining the final decision as the output clause so the final decision data type we are defining it as string because we want to return either approved or rejected as the final decision right so this is how you can define a custom data type and use that custom data type as the type of your input elements and you can use that input elements while defining the decision element let's define the roots So we have defined the rules for our decision element only if the if the value of the age input parameter is greater than or equal to 21 and the credit ratings value is high we want to return the decision value as approved in any other scenario we want to return the decision value as rejected. Let's test this DMN that we have created. Click on DMN runner. If you see now, the input is a custom data type. The name of the input we have given as input and it's having age and credit rating two elements inside it. Instead of sending two separate input parameters, whoever is using this DMN will have to create the custom object as input which will have age and credit rating as two elements inside that input and provide the values for the age and credit rating elements so when we pass the values for the age and credit rating elements which are there inside the input custom data type we are able to see the output, the final decision that, that's being returned from the DMN. So this is how you will be able to define custom data types and you will be able to use those custom data types while defining DMNs for defining the input parameters and output parameters so these custom data types will be useful when you are defining more complex dmns inside your system